Hey, welcome back, YouTube fans. Fat Cat Collections uh, coming back at you with another watch review. And today I'm going to be doing another watch um, by Aragon Watches USA. Um, if you've been keeping up with my content lately, you know that I've worked the deal with Aragon to actually have them send me product and review the product and share it with my channel because I just don't think the brand gets enough recognition. It's right up there with Invicta as far as what you're getting for your money value, quality, and just really unique designs. And I really don't think there are many companies that can really compete with what Aragon Watch is giving you for the money. It's 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 really blows my mind that they, uh, I mean, are able to turn out product like this for, for the value. I mean, and I've always said that about Invicta. And actually, Invicta is one of the top watches out there, in my opinion, that gives you the most bang for your buck. If you're into that style of watches, of course. But, you know, both these companies have something for everybody. And the watch I want to review today is one that... Um, sometimes when Aragon sends me a watch, I will end up buying it because I like it so much I don't want to send it back. Other times, I like for instance, I'm going to keep the gauge because I really like the gauge. Check out my video on that. But this one here, um, I want to get in a different color, and I'm probably going to keep it. And this one here is a new design by Aragon called the Charger. Now, this one here um, is powered, okay, and I just want to touch base on this real quick because this is a quartz watch. This one here is powered by a movement called a S2 VH65. Now, I'm not sure if that's the Seiko movement. I'm not really sure on that because usually when it says S2 in a lot of those movements, uh, like the you know NH35A, it's a Seiko movement. So I'm not really sure. But what I do know about this movement is it's a quartz movement, and it's it, they call it a sweep second hand. And what they do is the center second hand moves in quarter second increments, resembles mechanical movements. Okay. Um, now, when I look at this watch, I can kind of see it, it ticks a lot quicker than your standard quartz movement. There's that doesn't have that like your normal standard quartz movement will tick like. And this one's doing a quarter increment. So it's a little bit faster. So it resembles that of a sweeping second hand like you'd find on like your Rolex. But please don't come hit me with the comments. Rolex sweeping second hands, I mean, it's smooth. You know, my Bulva is smooth. Uh, this one here does have a tick to it. But this, what makes this watch really, really unique is, in, in my opinion, the band. And the band on this thing resembles that of your chain link you'd find on like a motorcycle. So if you're a Harley lover and, you you know, that whole rough mechanical uh, kind of image that you know Harley guys have. This is a fantastic watch if you're into that kind of style. I mean, you'll love this watch. Now, um, this one here, for me, for me personally, I tend to like ones that are just, if they're going to be smaller, they have to have something really unique. So what I, what I mean by that is when I compare it to this one here, which is comparable in size, a Savant, you know, you got the, the spot black spinal, the abalone. And to, for me, my personality, I just like something a little bit different. But they do make this watch in a NH35 automatic movement in yellow gold with abalone. And I don't have a yellow gold with abalone yet, but this watch is such a pretty looking watch and it, it just feels really meaty with this band that I do want to have it in my collection just in the yellow gold. But let me just go ahead and review the watch now and stop rambling on, okay? So as far as size in this particular watch, I'll give you some of the specs here, let's read off. You have 16.5 millimeters in case thickness, okay? You have 50 millimeters in case diameter, and any of you know 50 millimeter watch is not a small watch by any means. You have a fixed bezel. They use a hardened mineral crystal on this. Um, screw down crown, of course. Eight and a quarter inch band length, 30 millimeters in width, and 660 feet of water resistance. Uh, country of origin naturally is China on this one here. Uh, but you know what? Let's face, folks. Lots of things come out of China just because it. You know, I mean, I get the comments all the time. People making you know making comments. I'm victim. You know, China, China. Guys, everything's made in China. So it doesn't mean if it's made in China, it's not an amazing, exceptional watch. I mean, these guys are pumping out watches for a value that's unheard of uh, in the watch market. I mean, the only one that can compete is Invicta. And these guys are just making amazing watches. And like I said, one thing I love about Aragon is they use a lot of movements, a lot of automatic movements in their watches. And you cannot get a watch that's in that 50 millimeter range, you know, or 55 uh from Invicta even, with an automatic Seiko movement. You can get your Pro Diver, your Grand Diver in that same movement. You're going to be paying about $110, $150, depending on which model you get, sometimes more. Uh, but, I mean, Aragon, it's just, it blows me away with the value they get. So let me just go ahead and show you the face on this one here. Again, you have your uh, secondary, uh, this is your, I'm not really sure what the, to be honest with you, I'm not really sure what this other uh, dial is right here. I, know, I think that's maybe... Your minute hand, I'm just not really sure on that. I, I wish I had a better answer, sorry. I'll tell you when I don't know. Uh, basically, it's pretty simple on the face. It's get, this one here has a black face, and uh, you have your the band. And pretty much everything on this watch is, uh, is a satin or brushed finish. You have a little bit of polishing around the bezel. 
dual fold over clasp of course, but this band is just absolutely stunning and I almost thought about keeping this watch to throw this band on the gauge because this band is really, really exceptional and it really makes the watch extremely heavy. But the band really does contour really nice to your wrist. So without further ado and rambling on too much, I'm going to go ahead and throw this watch on the wrist. Now, this watch is not sized. I didn't want to size this one because, uh, you know, I'll be sending this one back and, and getting the, the yellow gold one and a few other products to review. But I just wanted to just go ahead and show you what it looks like on the wrist. A 50 millimeter watch. I'm about a 7 inch wrist, about 165, 170 pounds. And, you know, naturally, a 50 millimeter watch, you know, if you're into this and you, you, you've watched all my videos and you know that I'm into the big watches and you guys have, I mean, thousands of you have bought watches based on my recommendations. You know, when you get a 50 and you're used to wearing like a Sea Hunter, it just starts to feel a little small. But under no, sir, no way is this a small watch. And you can just really check out how that band just really contours to the wrist. And it's just a really, really aggressive, um, very masculine watch. Definitely one to pick up in the collection. Uh, this watch is also available, like I said, in the Seiko Automatic NH35 movement, um, which can be had for about 300 bucks, I believe, 350 maybe, with abalone, and it's done in a black, yellow gold, or stainless steel. Um, man, they're they're pretty, and I really look forward to getting this one in the yellow gold. It's just it's just it's really an aggressive, uh, very stunning watch. Of course, always like I say, in the right color, but. Everybody's different. Everybody has different, uh, you know, a different opinion on what what color they like. Some people don't like yellow gold. I happen to love yellow gold. So this will be something I'll definitely want to get for my collection in the yellow gold. You know, you get your dual fold over clasp. I mean, you just really there's no watch that Aragon makes that you can look at and be like, oh, you know. I mean, they just every watch they make is just exceptional quality and exceptional value. You know, standard back on this one here. Now this watch with the sweeping movement is not available yet. This has not been released. So keep checking back to this video if you're interested in purchasing this watch for links in the description where I'll link you to when this watch actually becomes available. If you like it in Abalone, right now it is available. I'll put a link in the description to that. Also check out fatcatwatches.com where I'll we'll have real-time listings where this stuff is available and you know you'll be able to get it right then and there if you want to make the purchase, okay? So once again, that's a watch by Aragon called the Charger. Fantastic watch, fantastic quality. I uh, really look forward to getting more watches from this company, and I'm really glad they were able to uh, provide me with these 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 watches to check out. I, I hate to send them back. So far, they sent me three watches. I'm keeping two of the ones they sent me, and I'm trying to cut back on buying watches. I mean, I don't have, I can still do the review, but and share it with you guys, but I just. I can't help myself. What can I say? So if you like the content, guys, subscribe to the channel. Remember, check out FatCatWatches.com. Keep checking back for new um, new updated videos and new content. Uh, lots more stuff going to be coming down the pike. Once I actually own these watches, like I just did a video on the gauge, I will actually, uh, or no, I don't own them. I, I do. But once I, uh, once I, you know, have a little more time, I'll do some side-by-side -side comparisons with, like, maybe the gauge versus the Sea Hunter and a few Invicta watches. Just kind of show you a few of the differences and, and a little bit of the differences value. But once again, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, have a wonderful day.